What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol PFE for Pfizer Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update, and the main thing to discuss is exactly where we bounced from on today's session. Remember, in prior videos, we were discussing this potentially acting as a bull flag, and again, that's exactly the low of today's session at 57.18. Now, I'm not saying that anyone nailed the low, bought it here, sold it up here at the top. Now, someone out there in the world probably did that. However, that's not the point in why I bring this up and why we mentioned it in the past. The reason I bring it up is because it's proving to us, Pfizer is proving to us that it does want to trade and respect its technical levels. So in knowing that, we can identify that this was a prior double top, correct? And the neckline would be this area right in here. And that's ultimately right where we closed on today's session. So this is going to give us a pivot point, right? So 58.89, I would just round up and call it $59 even is the pivot here inside of Pfizer. If we can start closing 30 minute bars up above that area, to me, it would seem likely that we would rotate back to the top end of the range. The buyers stepped up. We again get that lower wick on today's session, indicating that there was a strong response from the buyers in the first place, responding to the big move lower. Okay. So again, acceptance up and over 59. To me, the target would be 6150 here, basically the all time highs inside of Pfizer. Now, on a rotation back under underneath, it's all about do we set a higher low or an equal low. So in that instance, 58 is your number to watch coming from these prior areas in here. And again, it would make logical sense that that could potentially be a higher low pullback. What we would need after that would be a higher high up and over this area right here to start a new 30 minute uptrend, right? So just to have that on your radar, it's 59 quarter. And you know, one more time to walk through the scenario, that would be something like this back up and over 59 quarter for that higher high after a higher low on the 30 minute perspective from here to here that would change the trend to up in my estimation from down, which it is right now, noting that we have highs, lower highs, lows, lower lows, correct? So we would need that 30 minute reversal to the upside for us to get uh, bullish back on the stock. Um, and again, if we open above and consolidate above that pivot at 59, that's going to do some of that work for us and give us that new higher high. So that is the main number to be watching out for 59 here. Any breakdowns of 58, if there is a deeper pullback, it's all about today's low of day, the large lower wick we printed from the daily and the support that we got from this little bit of a flag portion in here. The last thing I will sort of point out before we move along and I'll send you on your way is if we take out the Fibonacci's coming in from the high of the day down to the low of the day, what you'll notice is we spent hardly any time below the 38.2. We blasted right back up through the 50%, consolidated a little bit underneath the 61.8, but ultimately we did close back above that level, which checks out as being more bullish than bearish. It's not like we had a weak close and we're still hanging out down here underneath the 38.2. So in my estimation, Pfizer is on the radar for a reversal back to the upside. If it wants to hold 59, if it wants to fall back, apart. We do have the downside levels to watch for, but ultimately I would not try to reverse catch the falling knife, if you will, inside of a stock, which has been so strong to the upside over the past couple of weeks in some pretty intense market volatility, I may add. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.